four days we've been in Hybus Lodge. It's south of Juneau, about 50 miles. We've been coming here with students for five consecutive years now because you have all of this wonderful stuff through here and it's a great outdoor classroom and laboratory for us. One of the things that we would love to know and that we're actually getting some data on is how climate affects growth of rock fishes. Fishing doesn't seem like it's much work, but in this case it is work. Hey. Holy mackerel! <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just been so fun, even though it's been really tiring. <laughs> My arms are tired. <laughs> A little more sound. I don't out. know if I can. Oh yeah, you're not gonna beat me, you halibut. <laughs> Every night on the dock, we sort them out. We've taken a two-pronged approach. We designed a long-term project about climate change, and then each year that we come, we try to design some research that can be done in the short term. This year, we're focusing on the incidence of a particular parasite. This is the parasite queen right here. I think field work is super exciting, getting to be out in nature, and I think we can make a big difference, especially for the fisheries out here. We're catching those fish, the rockfish, and then we're pulling out those parasites so that we can take them back to BYU for further analysis. These need measurements and tissues. And so we have the long-term data, and that involves looking at the position of these species of rockfishes in the food web and how that might change through time. We're on the cusp of a big change, but we need to document how things are right now so that we could look at patterns over time. One of the things that we're hoping to do is to be able to tie growth rates to long-term changes in climate. There are bones in the head of fishes called otoliths, and we can pull those out and we can get a growth record of the fish from that bone. You can see one otolith sitting right there. So this fish will be 20, 25 years old, it produces rings. It's kind of like tree rings. It gives us a climate record and we can, we can go back in time and see how that climate affected growth and how compared to how this climate affects growth. With climate change, the problem is that we don't perceive the changes as being something that is really hitting us significantly. And we're not gonna see that until it may be too late. The key is, it's not just that climate's changing, it's the rate at which it is changing. And if you don't believe that climate is changing, move to Alaska, because they see evidence right here. Last summer, there was a warm water event, and it may only raise the average water temperature a few degrees, but organisms are very finely tuned to the temperature that normally occurs in their environment. And so their growth rates can decline, that cascades through the system until you have effects up at the top level. You know, you get the most frustrated when you think, ah, oh, this makes me mad and I can't do anything about it. And the only redemption from that is to think, but I can do something about it, right? I can teach students that, and things will change through time. I think that we can work with these students and really give them an experience that they would not have otherwise in, in their education. I've learned a great deal about how research works and how important research is. By taking these trips, we're uh, discovering more of the world around us and we're answering questions that have never been answered before. Good fish. Look at this right here. That is an advanced jaw right there. This trip really has given me a lot of inspiration to widen my horizons. <laughs> That's huge. As Cody can attest, if you get one of those through your boot, it really hurts. It's so important to do what you want to do in life. That's 
a perfect fish. Can I keep it? You can definitely keep it. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and I'm so, so glad I came. I just love being here, being outside, seeing all the different wildlife. The people here have been amazing. If I can be out doing research um, and hopefully making a difference in the world, I think I'll take this with me my whole life. Of all places that you can teach, hands-on, this has got to be one of the best. The Good Halibut Award for today. That's why I came here. <laughs> and Samantha gets the Double Rockfish Award, oh, yeah. which is almost as highly coveted as the Good Halibut the Good Award. Halibut. <laughs>